It's Saturday and we are live. Hooray. I don't know if I can put this correctly. I was thinking about the gambit today for obvious reasons. So let's see what we can do. I made gambit I think two or three weeks ago. Close up with a card. I was happy with the result. I will try to make gambit this time, but maybe full body gambit, something like this. I don't know, we will see. Let's see what we will make. Gambit is a, an interesting character. I never could get the hang of him. I know in the 90s when they created comics and new characters they always tried to bring some mystery to the character and not revealing everything at once. And Gabin was one of these characters with a lot of secrets and I think because of Wolverine, everybody, all the new characters had to have some mystery to them. So we had Gambit and we had Deadpool coming up, I remember, in that period. Try to make him a little bit more interesting. Something a different pose, maybe. What's up, Red Heart Flow? Red Heart Flow? Red Harlow, I'm sorry, Red Harlow 11. I'm bad at pronouncing names. Welcome. I don't know how long you've been there, but I've been busy with some stuff here. Uh, I'm making Gambit today and he will have some cards in these hands, a couple. Yeah, Gambit. Oh, Gambit's not one of them. I I forget him too sometimes. He's not one of the more popular X Men. He's one of the X Men, and uh, he's um, he came pop became popular for a little while, but now he's taking the back seat in the comics, anyways. He was in one of the movies too. I'll have him with a smile this time. Because he's kind of smirky, this guy. What's up? Oh, thank you. It's Kelly March. Welcome. Thank you. I'm, I'm making Gambit, you know. I hope you know who it is. For obvious reasons. I've been watching the animated X-Men 97, I think. In the 90s, anyways.
I'll have the other leg a little bit in the back like this. He has crazy hair and long hair, so we'll make his hair crazy like this. He will have a coat on, so I'll just make these lines here so I remember kind of what he has, where he has his physical muscles under. Uh, great work. Thank you, man. Did I pronounce your name right? Uh, yeah, I played Spider-Man 2. I played it with my son and uh, we have a blast every time we play it. It is an awesome game with a very good story. So yeah, I've been playing it. He has a big coat, this guy, so I will make his coat big like this too. And his coat is kind of crazy too. Let's put some things like this here on this coat. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen the trailer. Uh, I like the first movie. I'm not sure about this one because they're making it a musical. And that could be funny. I hope they don't make a funny movie that everybody just goes and laugh at it. So I hope. Um, I like the first one, the first Joker movies. Uh, Gambit has an original suit. I'll try to remember it, how it looked like. It should be something like this, right? And he has this black something on him like this. Yeah, that's a gambit, man. Med, Med Alka, welcome. Uh, I'm doing gambit. It is gambit. Have you seen the new X Men ninety seven? Yeah, this is like, he's like jumping or something. It looks cooler if he's jumping, not only standing still. I can't remember all the details on his suit. It is kind of looks something like this. Let's start inking. But what we what we would do with this hand? Let's have it close like this. Okay, you remember him. 
You could Google him, but maybe by seeing the results here, you remember him a little bit more. I have some energies here on, on the cards. Like so. Let's start the inking then, guys. Here we go. I'll start with the eyes. Different every time. Sometimes I start with something else, but now I'll start with eyes. And this guy has special eyes. And they're always red. He is a mutant, you know, so he's allowed to have different eyes. And smirky smile. And he has a big chin. I believe he's created by Jing Li. Like so. But I'm not very sure. He has longer hair, this guy. That's one of the coolest things about his design. I just start, started watching Dune 2. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, some people say it's the best movie ever made. I didn't finish it yet, so I can't say if it is. I saw the first one, but honestly I fell asleep. Uh, it was a bit boring in my taste. But it wasn't bad. But I'll give uh, this new one a chance. Hopefully I like it. Make this double. So, like I said, I can't remember his design exactly, but it is something like this. But not exactly.
Well, welcome, Rakei. Thank you for... That was kind. Uh, the thing with me, man, if I'm going to be honest, is that I'm very introverted. Not so very interested in being famous. I enjoy what I'm doing and I'm happy with it. But being introverted, it's... Uh, well, you kind of get stuck in what you you're doing and um, happy with what you're doing. This is supposed to be cards. But I kind of fail in that because it's hidden behind him. I remember he had have some some things like this here doing all this by memory but I, I remember it was something like that and this part was something like that every time you make a character made by somebody else you always hope that you make them justice I've been saying that many times and I will keep saying it has very high boots They're kind of cool he's uh, some some parts of his designs are pretty original and cool Let's start the cleanup, guys. Here's where you should be careful. Don't destroy the paper, which could easily happen when you're in a hurry like I am. I say that every time, but it's true. If I'm repeating myself, I'm only speaking the truth. I know of some of you guys last time when I was making this cleaning said that it makes a lot of noise. So I'm sorry for that. But it had to be done. I need to make the cleanup so I can continue making shadows and grayscale and all the other details and the special effects I will make on his powers on the cards that he has on the other hand. Whoops, you see, I almost destroyed the paper. I almost ripped it up. Shashan. I don't know if I pronounce your name. Well, I've said it to everybody. But welcome anyways, Shashan. Let's see which pan is working this time. Not all of my pans are working. This one is kinda. This thicker one is kinda too. Kind of gray. Put them aside so I could throw them away maybe. Here we go. This one works. 
His pants are black. So we'll make them black. Well, you're welcome, Shashan. Valeria Bennett, hello and welcome to the warmth. I'm doing Gambit, Valeria. Thank you, Shushan. That's very kind of you. And I'm very, really happy that you enjoy it. First time seeing Gambit, it was Jim Lee who created him and made him, he made some amazing art. It was exciting times in the comics for me. So I kind of like Gambit because of it. Not too much his backstory and everything. Because his backstory has a lot of plot holes and it's not very down to earth. I'm just filling in all the black. And big shadows like that. The gloves. So let's continue with the details. I will make a bit of his eyes because he has red eyes. And we need to be faithful to that.
have some more black. Do. So where are you guys from? If I may ask, maybe it's not polite, I don't know. I just like to know. I'm in Sweden anyways. If you guys can see you if my arms getting in the way maybe this guy don't have black hair so I will not make it too dark This is the fun part, making the de details. Juan Ortegón, bienvenidos, bienvenido Juan. Happy you like it, Juan.
some effects here with the shadows. So it kind of looks like some gray scale or some grays. And it is kind of fun making this. But it's easy to make mistakes too with this. some shadowing let's make some special effects here on on the cards that he has. And this is fun. This is where the fun begins. We have different sizes of these small balls. We'll give an effect like so. And I'll make the background all black as well. This also takes time. But it makes him pop out a little bit more. Which gives, gives it a cooler effect on the drawing. It looks more complete, I feel, after. Hi again, Edwin Walter Animerar. And welcome Edwin. This is Gambit. I don't know if you can see it. He's like jumping or something. Hey, Malice Max! Did you like it? So, Malice is my son and he's in the room beside me and I believe he has a hiccup. Do you have a hiccup? Kinda sounds like it.
This is so much fun making these kind of things. This guy, I can't remember your name. You asked me if I why I wasn't famous and who needs that when you're having a, a blast like this. I need to get closer to the coat. I was almost singing there. You need to get closer to the coat. Just like the Joker too, I'll make a musical for that. So let's get closer. Okay, so Malice Max has a hiccup. Noticed. It's been noted. You need to drink some water, dude. We'll get close here, really, really close to the coat and to his hair and everything else. too close to this hand. We're almost there. At the finish line. When I started a couple of weeks ago, or no, a couple, of, I think one month ago or more, my drawings, it took me over one hour and now I'm down to like 50, 40, 8 minutes or something like this. Because I'm always in a hurry and I don't know why. Maybe somebody's chasing me. Hey, Jover Duarte. Espanol? Or it's just a name? But welcome anyways. Or oh, bienvenidos. These are the languages I speak. Spanish and Swedish and English. I don't know if Edwin is still here, but I also speak Swedish. Captain Katz, well, Captain Katz is the Max number two. Welcome, Max number two, Captain Max. You'll, you, you, your new name will be Darth Captain Max. Or something. No, just Captain. You, we don't need a Darth. I need to buy thicker pens. You need to remind me this of these guys or Malice Max.
did you guys just become friends? Yeah, I do have black, black paper, but I need to practice some more on black paper. I have been trying black paper with white ink and it's really, really cool and I enjoy the process. You just need to practice some more. I'm not pretty 100% happy with the results. Something new for me, inking in white. And I enjoy the new stuff. This is noisy for you guys, but yeah, there you go. You'll have the effect that I wanted. I want this one a little bit darker inside because the coat is in a shadow inside. Take the bigger one. Keep it close to the black. So we'll have a fairly nice effect like so. Yeah, it was the effect I wanted, and I got it. <clears throat> Hooray!
Let's start with the white ink. Famous white ink. Well, hi, D.D. Keplinger. Thank you for the thumbs up and welcome. It's nice to have you here, man. You were missed. So let's start with the white. Like so. Now he has a hand. Let's give him some cool hair effect. Right. I want some more dark here, closer to the forehead. adding some effects here so it looks more powerful This is fun. Like I said, I really enjoy the white inking. That's a cool effect. Small details on this guy. I can't remember all the details on this guy, but you get the idea. I 
can't believe I finished. Yeah, and that's a gambit. He has long hair, so let's give him the long hair that he deserves. Meme Hub. Meme Hub. Welcome. I remember your name. You've been here before, right? I believe I finished. Final results. I hope you like it. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for following Meme Hub. I really appreciate it. I'll, I'll, I'll make a tutorial. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but life is not only about thinking. We need some action too. Um, so of course I will do it. And also when I'm live here, I'm explaining what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and why I'm doing it. And yeah, you understand. Now I just can't stop and I'm adding and adding and adding and this is a problem. So here's the result. And thank you for joining me today. I'm always having a blast with you guys. And let's do this again. I'll try Tuesday as usual. And um, take care of yourself, guy, okay? Let's see each other again next time.